Hi everyone, thank you today for coming to see how a couple of ways we can use to preserve, uh, not preserve but to protect your flowers. So the first way in which I suggest that we do is I just found out that we can use baking paper. Okay, it has to be baking paper. It can't be wax. I, I think it's wax paper. That's another type of paper that you can use for your, your kitchen. It's not that. It's baking paper specifically. Because baking paper has a, a surface at the top where when you put your... So what we're using today is we're using packing tape. When you put your packing tape on right it is easy to get off so um just let me show you how we we do it and and then you can have a look and then there is a second method uh after this so with this one what we're going to do here i'll just move that across there like that what we're going to do here is i've got a piece of packing tape right and i'm just going to put it here on the surface so that's the flower I want to preserve. I've already put that um, piece of uh, tape down there and I'm just going to align that there. So it has to obviously fit that or else you can put another one and then we go that way. And that needs to go on top of it. And just press firmly down. And when you want to remove it and put it, say, on a piece of, let me find something to put this on. All right. So I've removed it off the, the paper. Actually, before I do that, I should have cut it. So I'm just going to cut it around just because I don't want all this tape around it. And this is a page that I could use this flower in. And I'm just going to, this is, I should have done it the other way. Cut it first, then remove it, right? Yes, I know. I'm doing this live. go there there we go I'm not showing you the whole page but that's how it looks like let me do another one and this time I will do it the other way and cut it all right so one piece down and I'm just going to put the flower here, one there. I'm going to do another one beside it. Just here. And I'm going to put that one there and keep this one for later. And... here all right so now what I can do is the right thing is to cut it first now with this one I'm just gonna cut around it you don't have to cut too much around it just enough so that you can store it for later right it's like a sticker it becomes a sticker and you can you can um, keep it for later say in your box or whatever right 
that's that one and this one this one I'm just gonna cut around it There we go, and let's put it on my page here, on, say, this part. There we go. How's that? We can keep going and do all of it if you wanted to, and then you can store it like this rather than storing so these ones I have been just sitting on my table uh, in a bowl, but I can have them as stickers all ready to go and prep them all. So I haven't tried these ones. Maybe we should try these ones which are a bit fatter. Let's do that now. So I've put the two tape side by side because this one is wider and it's thicker. So I'm going to try this. Now this be interesting, you just have to try and press it down like that. I'll be interested to know if do you use flowers in your journal. Uh, I love using flowers, uh, dry flowers to add texture to my journal because number one is they are free. And yes, if you um, have seen my flower pressed my flower press i i love doing flowers but at the moment we're heading into winter uh into winter well it's autumn so not many flowers but during spring it will be a good time to collect your flowers so i'm just going to do this around it i'm sorry my dog is barking and saying mom can you come and get me please i want to talk to your friends who you're talking to that's what she's saying to me who are you talking to my friends and i can just peel that which i won't because i need to find a spot for it but can you see now i can store these i can store these here so let's try another one here. Uh, I'm gonna. So this is quite wide, and I'm going to put one there, and one there. So it's actually overlapping, and I'm gonna use do this one which is the daisy and I'm going to carefully carefully place that there press it down and carefully place that there and press it down now I'm just going to grab my scissors and see, I'm going to fussy cut around it. So, so just cutting around it and so this is a, a good method if, um, if you want to uh, keep your flowers intact because I find that if I don't put something over it sometimes I do sometimes I don't like I find that the leaves are fine you don't have to worry about leaves so much but it's the flowers because the petals are really fragile 
and uh, I have lost my flowers before because you know I'm just too lazy to put anything over it but this is certainly a good way of keeping it like so when you're turning pages or when you've got something that's um, uh, on the other page which is going to drag and you might lose your petals this is a good way of protecting it so let's see if this one works all right so that looks good i'm gonna see if we can remove it it might just be a little bit tricky we need to find a spot there we go i think that's it yep okay let me find my book and we can place it in my book all right i found a page where i can um, use that so we'll just go like that and it's just going to stay here oh i'm really happy with that there we go so i've cut the music sheets and laid the flowers on the music sheets and this is the sleeve for the laminator it comes in an a4 sheet uh, and it's fairly large now this is the first time i'm trying this laminator i don't know if this is going to work i've put some washi on the flowers if you, as you can see so it doesn't move the other thing you can do is you can put a dab of glue over it um, I might put something else here so the sheets come like this and this was a um, as I was saying this is a, um, a laminator I'll show you the laminator here uh, it's looks like it's flickering a little bit actually it's not it's just on the thing um, on the um, camera it is uh, but this is the laminator and it was from the op shop and a friend of mine works at the op shop let me show you the price in which she paid for it so it says ten fifty, but she actually got it for something like six dollars for me and it's actually brand new the sleeves are all still in its packet as you can see over there and so so when you're using a laminator, you have to actually preheat this. It needs to actually heat up until there's a green light here. So um, I haven't tried this before, so we're going to do it together. So I'm just going to grab the sheet now and put, pass it through and you can watch how it turns out live. All right, so because it's... Actually, this is not A4, this is an A3 shape. Because it's an A3 shape, it's uh, a little bit difficult to, to deal with. So I decided I'm just going to put it through like this. So there's this end here which is sealed. I'm going to put in the sealed end first. And yep, that's going through all right. I'm hoping that that's going to be okay because one of the flowers belongs to my sister-in-law. She pressed it in her book and uh, it was a gift from her hubby. And I was, I said to her, I will laminate it for you and give it to you um, as a bookmark so i'm hoping that that will come through all right if this works i'm going to be really happy because it means that i can preserve all my flowers
Oh, I think that was maximum thickness. It's coming through the other side. Looking good so far. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. Hang on a sec. Now I can lift it up and you can see it. Well, that doesn't look too bad. See how you need to actually have space around it so you can actually cut around it now. Well, let me just cut a few and I'll show it to you. Um, I think I can turn this off because I think I'm happy with that for now. So I wanted to show you, that's what I did. I cut around it and it should be okay. And I punched a hole with my single hole punch, put some lace at the top and that's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just move that to the other table. All right, the reason why I um, use my kitchen bench, which is stone rather than the um, the timber table here is because I'm afraid that the lam laminate I don't know how hot it's going to get and whether it's going to burn my table uh, and that's why I put it on the stone bench so that it's uh, it's safer that way so there you go I don't know if you can see that now that's with the um, uh, flowers um, what do you call these pansies as you can see and that's the red one um, which I probably would put a hole at the top for the lace and this is uh, for my sister-in-law she wanted these flowers preserved now I think that uh, this is not as bright and vibrant is because it was in a sitting in a vase uh, and sometimes with your pressed flowers if you want it nice and vibrant you have to pick the flowers when it's at its peak. Um, if it's sitting in a vase uh, for a long time and uh, for a couple of weeks, it may not press as well. Um, this one here. So what we can do then for this one, I don't know what that is, but is to make a hole here. There we go. And I've got some twine. We can put some twine on that one. And this, it turned out okay as well. Uh, so I just wanted to show you. I'm just going to cut around these and show it to you. All right, so I have some leftover twine here. I'm going to put this in through here. Excuse my dog if you can hear her. She's in her crate and she's just yelling, Mom, come get me. Um, you can either do that if it's too loose might be able to do uh, maybe just thinking whether I should do one more mm. I think it should be fine maybe I can cut it at the top it's all about experimenting and trying remember <laughs> So, not getting it all perfect, but maybe what I can do is just chop this off here at the top a little bit so it's not curling. There we go. I think that should be fine. If it's coming out, I can always just put a dab of glue there. And that's it like if you want to put extra words here obviously you can some people what they do is they stitch around here but I'm just a little bit too lazy to get my sewing machine out I wanted to show you these other ones which I've cut see they look good and they can just then go into your journal right all preserved I've got a whole stack of them here I wanted to show you wait see my plate of flowers yeah 
it's just one of those things I'm gonna to have to try and uh, do that but just remember when you're pressing these in the laminator don't see how with the daisy it's actually quite fat in the middle might get your laminator stuck which is not what you want um, don't go out and rush out and get a laminator uh, the reason why I decided to show you this today is because it's been sitting in my cupboard for months and because uh, my friend actually saw it and she said do you want it and so that's why I decided to get it out when you're doing junk journaling it's very tempting to go out and just get everything by yesterday take your time there's no rush I have done this for quite a few months now and perhaps about uh, when I started that's in September and um, you know I've built up my supplies and I try to find things from the op shop I'm not spending it full price and I'm not doing everything by yesterday I say do explore and do try but you know there is the time constraints and budget constraints so just be wise we can go overboard sometimes and rush out and just buy everything by yesterday that's not what we want so um thank you again for watching uh and thank you for coming today hope this has been helpful like share and comment let me know if you have done this before and what is your experience uh and do you use flowers in your journal see you later in the next video